you like hand dyed yarn but you don't like the price tag, then this is going to be a video for you. Hey neighbor, it's Ryan from Hippie Witch Heart. Welcome back to another video of me unboxing the yarn that I bought in December for Vlogmas. Today we are going over a yarn that I found at Joann's of all places, but is still a hand dyed yarn that actually looks pretty good and had a pretty affordable price tag. If you're new to the channel, we do this thing called the Brew Crew. Uh, it's just a, a way for us to be casual and have a, a nice little chat before we actually get into the hunk of our video. If you would like to donate to the Brew Crew and help support the channel, you can do so in the description or in the pinned comments. If you leave us a little message, we'll read it with your donation. Uh, in one of our future videos. Today's flavor is the peach iced tea, which is one of my favorites. I love the iced tea flavors. I cannot recommend them enough. Um, are they still having their sale? I want to find out. Water Drop is still having their sale. It is, yeah, I have a code in the description that is not sponsored. It's 15 off an order of 35 or more. I don't know if it works with sales because I haven't used it, but their iced tea set, you can get one of each of them for $32.90 instead of $39. Uh, so that's $36 if you use like one or two a day that's a pretty good amount for the price it ends up being like 75 cents to a dollar each which is fine by me because they're way better than sodas and they actually do help you drink a lot so the iced peach uh, or the iced tea peach is going to be black tea with peach sugar-free low calorie vitamin c and niacin as usual we are going to drop it in here set this to the side and let it do its thing while we unbox our other stuff today i think after doing this for like a month it would be easier for me to open these Never is. I always suck. Except for that one that I had in my reel, or my short that I posted. That one I opened perfectly for once. We open up the next thing in our giant advent calendar. Again, this is done for the year, but I highly recommend it if you are the type of person that gets that little serotonin and dopamine from opening a different thing every day. This is for you. Their flavor? Mayhaps? And the boxes are all fun. They all have this, like, fun little adventy. It's a word. Pattern that we love. It's on my bag, too. Ugh, another iced tea. Iced tea lemon. I love the iced teas, which is great because I'm almost out of them. So I'm really happy that I'm getting free ones in this advent instead of having to buy another round of them, which I'm still probably going to do anyway. So, I don't know what yarn stores you have available to you, if you have Joann's, if you have Michael's. Um, I refuse to shop at Hobby Lobby, so we're not going to talk about their yarn. Just are the two main like accessible yarn stores around most people. Obviously your local yarn store is going to be even better. I don't know if this is one that they carry because it is like a, a, a main manufactured type one, but I found this at Joann's. It's from the KC, the Knit and Crochet, the premium yarn brand. It is 100% cotton, which is impressive to me because normally hand dye yarns are like wools or like alpaca or other fun fibers. It's not just like cotton. Um, and I love working with cotton. I think it's more durable. You can make some really cool like kitchen tools or, or functional crochet items and I'm all about functional. Like yeah, it's fun to have some really fun colors for things to wear that are cozy and whatnot, but having something that is just like brightly fun and dyed that is you can use day to day is, is fun. Like making a towel or like a bath towel or something out of this is or like a face set is great. 100% cotton and it is 472 yards for 100 grams, which is pretty good actually. So I have two different colors. Um, I bought two of each just because I wanted to make something for Austin and something for myself. So we'll see. This is the first one. It is very bright green. It's also very similar. Um, this is the same brand, different color than the yarn that I bought in this video, and it's the same maker. So it's probably fun. But I got two of these, and they look pretty similar. Come on, focus, makeup girlies. That green is so bright. I'm so sorry. It's blowing out. Uh, it's like a lime green instead of like a cream. And then it has this like neon green on top of it. I love it. I'm pretty sure they're from the same dye lot. Yeah, they're from the same lot. So they're going to match, which is why I bought two of them. Because I have like 800 yards to make him just something fun. Uh, yeah. And then I bought myself the same thing in purple. So this is like that. <sighs> It's just perfect. It matches me. I'm very excited for this colorway. I think it's super cute. I don't know what I'm going to make with it, especially because it's cotton. Do you have a favorite cotton material pattern? Like something you make with cotton, either for around the house or whatnot? I Who knows? I may make just like a cozy kitchen towel. And so he has his own towel and I have my own. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to make with this. But these are, they're fun. Hell, I might make just like a fun summer thing because cotton is really good for hot 
weather because it's not super heavy and it absorbs moisture like it, it wicks sweat pretty well so these might just be like something fun to wear in the summer especially because for us we're in california so it can go from being really hot in the day to pretty chilly at night as soon as the sun sets because there's just when I first moved to California from the East Coast, I always forgot that I needed a hoodie at night because I'm like, oh, it's like 85 during the day. It'll be like 80 at night. No, it would go from like 85 to like 50. It would get cold. Anyway, bright, fun. These are from just Joann's and they were, I bought them on clearance. I will say that that is a big uh, deal to remember that these weren't at regular store prices and you can't use a coupon on clearance, but Joann's does have really good coupons if you're unable to go to like a local yarn store or order from a hand dyed uh, yarn maker online go to Joann's because I feel like you're gonna get the best bang for your buck there compared to like Michael's is great for carrying cakes and other styles of yarn but I don't think that the variety of colors is as wide as you can get at Joann's and I think Joann's just is superior when it comes to their coupons and rewards um like these, I think these were like 16 originally priced, which is not bad for a hank of yarn. Like most of the hanks that I bought from these dyers were double that. I will have a video coming soon that shows just how much I paid for everything. That'll be fun. If you like big haul videos, make sure you like and subscribe because that's going to be the one to watch for. But this, you know, isn't terrible. And after clearance, they were $6.97 each. So that, to get both of these for like $13, $14, I think is fabulous. I think that's a really good deal for the, the the amount of yarn. So if you're looking to experiment with hand dyed yarn or with um, hanks and fun colors but you don't necessarily want to spend the money or you don't have the money to spend, check out Joann's with coupons. Like don't sleep on the the big box yarn stores because they still have some cool stuff and these are still you know hand dyed and gonna give you the same feel. Yeah. If you're looking to experiment with these before you actually spend money on the expensive hand dyed stuff, this is a great place to start. So just dive in. But just shout out to our our regular craft stores because I know it's not accessible for everybody to do what I did for Vlogmas this year, whether it's from money, location, whatever. But like, that's not a bad deal to, from, to, from, to get from Joann's. I'm happy with it. Let's go through the peach iced tea, which we know I love. It's so good. It's like the perfect tea flavor. It's just light and obviously, we know that I have the bigger water bottle. Not everybody has the size and you'll get more flavor in the smaller one. I just like mine to be like a light flavor. Plus it tricks my body into drinking more water and I'm always down for fooling my little goldfish brain. Yeah. If you have been hanging out through these videos for me, cause we're almost at the end. I think I have like two more. What has been your favorite thing? What has been your favorite flavor or favorite yarn that I've done so far? And what is your favorite store near you. I don't want to say little yarn, a uh, local yarn store because I don't consider Joann's and Michael's local. They're just like big bucks. But what is your go-to store that you get your yarn from? And have you worked with the Knit and Crochet brand prior? Tell me in the comments and I will see you tomorrow for another unboxing. We're almost done and then we get to get into the fun stuff of pattern making and I'm very excited to do that. So I will see you guys later. Bye!